What's up guys? We got some team deathmatch on Havana. And this is take two for this commentary because the first time I tried to commentate this game, I forgot to mute the fucking TV, which was on in the background, so I was getting a shitload of background noise and it sounded terrible. And uh I do have a new microphone. It's pretty decent. I didn't spend a ridiculous amount of money on it. I can't remember exactly how much it cost. But it wasn't a ridiculous amount of money, it's actually pretty good. It's not like a fucking professional thing, it ain't like no blue goddamn snowball. But it's a good mic, and I like using it. Uh, it's just, I can put it wherever I want to put it, and it's just a nice microphone. So I, I fucking knife that guy down, and that guy shoots me. And this is not a good gameplay. I don't get a shitload of kills. Uh, but what, look at this fucking guy! I can't really... Uh, Damn it! It's always the fucking guys that are camping in plain sight that always kill me. Fuck out, because I never, I don't expect him. See, I know he's there this time, because my teammate ran into him. So I got a little heads up with the skull. And here's one of my main weaknesses, people, when playing Call of Duty. I very, very rarely look at the radar. That's one of the reasons I don't use the SR-71, because I don't look at the fucking radar. Every single time I take a look at the radar, I get shot in the back. I don't know if that's just me, but that's just what seems to fucking happen and it pisses me the fuck off so I don't look at the radar too often. I run around, I find my own fucking action, I don't let the radar find that shit for me. The reason I wanted to uh, upload this game was because after my bad start, I switched my gun out. No, wait, did I? What? Did I start with a gun? I don't, I don't know. I can't remember. But, um, I start playing pretty decent here. I get on a good kill streak, and what do I do? I make the entire enemy team rage quit. This started as a 6v6, a full lobby. I don't play ground war, not because I have anything against ground war, but, 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 but because I have a terrible connection that, uh, I get a lot of fucking lag when I play ground war. I do like ground war, it is a lot of fun, but I can't fucking play it unless the host is immaculate. You know, if you know what I'm saying, the host, unless I pull host, which I never do, or the host is right next door, you know what I'm saying? I can't fucking, I can't get a good connection on ground war. Uh, so it pisses me the fuck off and I can't get as many kills as I should. Uh, but look at this guy. You fucking, I just stood there waited. You know, I knew it was coming, there was no point jumping down there, you fucking idiot. But, uh, yeah. This was a 6v6 game, a full 6v6 game. I make half the enemy team rage quit. And it just, it, it made me laugh. I was playing the game and I was just, I was using my chop gun and I was like, shit, man, where the fuck is everybody? But, uh, I thought the game was actually going to go the time limit. Which, if the game would have gone the time limit, I wouldn't have bothered uploading it. But I did manage to get it in underneath the time limit. Because, you know what, I am a beast. Look at this fucking guy. So I pick up my, uh, my attack helicopter. Now let's talk about kill streaks. Black Ops kill streaks. I mean, what should I use? I I don't know. I, don't say the SR71 because I don't I don't look at the radar. Like I said before, I don't look at the radar too often because I always get shot in the fucking back or some shit when I'm using the radar. It pisses me the fuck off. And then what? what as soon as I start getting pissed off, that's it. I can't play at all. So you know how it is, but. My standard setup is the attack helicopter, the chopper gunner, and the uh, the dogs. Now the chopper gunner and the dogs, they're good. They're they're not going anywhere. But the attack helicopter is it's a shitty kill streak. It doesn't really get me anything to be quite honest. But I don't know what to use instead of it. I mean, should I napalm? Napalm is like a 50-50 whether it's going to get me anything. Mortar team never gets me anything. There's my chopper gunner. Sexy. Sexy. It's my chopper gunner that makes half the fucking team quit. But, uh... I don't know. Is, is the attack helicopter... Because I don't use the SR-71, is the attack helicopter my best bet? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I used to run a care package quite often because I liked... Because the care package... I may be wrong here, but as far as I know, there's the doggies, my little, my little puppy dogs. As far as I know, the care package is the only way to get the death machine. I may be wrong, and, uh, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, that's just what, I, what from what I've seen. 
Um, and I, I fucking love the death machine. So, some of them have already quit already. But yeah, I love the death machine. And I don't really get any kills with this. That was my dogs, not the chop gunner. I don't really get any kills with the chop gunner because, well, you know what? It's Savannah. There's a lot of buildings. There's a lot of places to hide from the chop gunner. I was going to super fast motion it through the chop gunner, but I thought, fuck it. I can't be bothered. I don't... I like I like doing editing, but I don't particularly like doing edi editing inside of Sony Vegas because my computer is pretty fucking slow. So doing any kind of edi editing in Sony Vegas adds like 10 fucking hours to my render time. So you know what I mean? I can't be fucking bothered doing that shit. Uh, so yeah, I get that guy with the chopper gunner. Um... But yeah, is the attack helicopter my best bet, or should I try something else? I mean, it's e it's probably either the napalm, or it's gonna stay at the attack helicopter. I died using my chop gunner, that pisses me off, and as you see, right there, half of the enemy team is rage quit. Which made me laugh when I was playing, I was like, God, this game, this game's old now. Modern Warfare 3 is out. It's been out for a while. So who the f- it, Well, you know what pisses me off? People that are still playing Black Ops. And still play Modern Warfare 2, and World of War, and Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 and World of War are hacked to fuck, though. That pisses me the fuck off. But, uh, people that are still playing these, these older Call of Duties, for ratio. Your kill-death ratio doesn't fucking matter, man. And look at this guy. Look at this guy in the back of the map with your sniper rifle. Get fucking knifed. And this guy, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. I mean, what the fuck, were you just standing there? I guess he was waiting for somebody to rush him, so he could, I don't know. I don't even know what these guys were doing. I think uh, after I got the chop gunner and the dogs, and half their team quit, I think the guys that stuck around, they, they may have stayed in the game, but I think they pretty much gave up. <laughs> I, I think they pretty much gave up. And, oh, you little bitch. So I'm on 23 and 4. Look at this fucking guy. Do I save my teammate? No! No! He went into second chance. I couldn't save my teammate. That wasn't good. I should, uh, I should slap myself in the face for that, but, uh, you know what? I'm not going to because that would be weird. But, <laughs> but, um... I run around for a little bit here and I can't find nobody. Because, well, event is quite a large map and half the teams quit. Uh, but these, these guys, if you're still playing game, if you're still playing Black Ops and you're still playing Modern Warfare 2, that's fine. Look at this fucking idiot. That's that's fine. But uh, stop playing for the damn ratio. I mean, come on, man. You know, I personally would love it if Call of Duty stopped tracking stats. You know, just track your kills and don't track how many deaths you got and don't track the KD ratio. Because okay. KD ratio makes you try that a little bit harder. It makes you more into the game, just that little bit more, but it also encourages camping like a motherfucker. You know, if they took away the stat tracking and they took away kill streaks, nobody would have any reason whatsoever to camp. That's just my take on it. Uh, you know what? Call of Duty Elite, let's just talk about Call of Duty Elite for a second here. Call of Duty Elite, to get the full Call of Duty Elite experience, you have to pay for it. But the stat tracking on Call of Duty Elite, the Black Ops player card is so much better. I don't understand. Look at this fucking idiot. I don't understand what um, Infinity Ward were doing when they put the stats together for Call of Duty Elite. I mean, come on now. Look at this fucking guy. Camping like a bitch. I can't remember. Do I get dogs to finish this game? I can't remember. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, because this is the last kill coming up right here. Look at this guy. Don't even know what he was doing. What's the final score? George Doors. It is 28 and 4. This is the end of this gameplay. Peace out, guys.